Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Allen, and we have problem of the day. First thing you need to do is read the problem. Dinosaurs are big. Jack has five toy dinosaurs. His for his birthday, Jack gets three more dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs does Jack now have? Okay, so we know that when we see a word problem, we are going to go through the solve method. We have S-O-L-V-E. First thing is the letter S, which says, underline the, pro the question and then think about what the problem is asking you to find. So let's begin. What's the question? How many dinosaurs does Jack now have? Let's underline our question. Then we're going to think about what the problem is asking us to find. Hmm. The problem is asking us to find the number of dinosaurs that Jack now has. Check and check. Oh, we need to circle the important facts. So we know that Jack has five toy dinosaurs. We're going to circle that. And we also know that Jack gets three more dinosaurs for his birthday. The next thing we need to do is cross out the unimportant parts. Jack, dinosaurs are big. We don't need that to solve our problem. And for his birthday, okay. So we have S and O completed. Now we think about L and V. What strategy will you use to solve the problem? Okay, so let's think about it. What type of problem is this? Is this a put together problem or is this a take away problem? You're correct, it's a put together problem. So we know when we put things together, we add. Okay, so let's draw a picture of five toy dinosaurs. I'm going to draw a circle because I cannot draw dinosaurs. So one, two, three, four, five. Remember to put your numbers so you don't get confused. And then he got three more. So we need to draw three more. One, two, three. All right, on number three. Put them together. Let's use our count on strategy. So let's count on five, six, seven, eight. Great. Now let's use our, put a check, you draw a picture, and for those of us who use our objects, let's get our objects ready, and we are going to show five dinosaurs. One, two, are you counting? Three, four, and five dinosaurs. Then Jack, for his birthday, got three more dinosaurs. So we need to put three more because we already agreed it's a put together problem. So here's my three more. One, two, three. Three more, okay? Let's put that on our papers. So let's draw our cubes to reflect our objects. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's our five blue ones. And then we have one, two, three. That's our three green ones. Okay? Put a check. And remember, we can put our numbers below our objects. Five and three. Equation. So, again, this is a put together problem, which means we have two things we need to add, right? So we have our five toy dinosaurs that Jack had at the beginning of the story. And then for his birthday, he had three more. Remember when we put things together, we use the addition sign. And when we counted our objects and we counted our pictures, we got eight. Let's double check. Five, six, seven, eight. 
and a check for all our mathematicians that use an equation. Now let's use our number line. So remember at the beginning of the story, Jack has five dinosaurs. We're gonna put a little dot on the number five because that's what we know he has. And now he gets three more for his birthday. So we're gonna jump, remember the bunny hops? Let's do our three bunny hops to reflect the three more dinosaurs he got for his birthday. So watch me hop. I'm starting at the number five. One, two, three hops. Oh my goodness. I think we got the right answer. We landed on the number eight. Okay, let's put a check. Using our 10 frames. You guys have your lovely 10 frames in your packets. Uh, let's do five toy dinosaurs. We have one, two, three, four, five. And we also have, know that Jack gets three more. Remember, you see, I'm constantly referring to our story. Jack gets three more. So we have five, six, seven, eight. And we have eight, eight circles. All right. So now we have our number bond. Now remember, you want to be very careful when you're doing your number bond. You want to label your number bond so you plug in the numbers in the right circles. So this one is the hole. And how do we know it's the hole? Because it has the two lines going to the parts. So let's label hole, part, and part. And let's do our second one. This is the hole, part, and part. So remember, Jack had five, that's five, and then he had three more. And when we put together, we get the whole. So we have five, three, and then we put together, we got eight, just like our equation says. So the whole we know it's eight, and the parts are five and three when we put them together, put a check. So guys, we did all our strategies and we know that when Jack had his five toy dinosaurs and his, he got three more, we put them together. They were five, eight dinosaurs all together. So your answer key, don't forget, you gotta plug in the number eight. And remember your units is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs is right here, make sure you write it in and I'm gonna spell as you write, D-I-N-O, S A U R S. See you guys tomorrow.